This is exercise 34-2A, Moving Objects in Z-Space. I'm in the Move Drawing File in the Steps Lesson 34 folder. I have set my visual style to wireframe, and I'm ready to begin. Let's turn off our running O-snaps because they're going to get in the way, like so. Okay, the textbook walks you through how to move objects using the 3D move command. And I'm going to show you that first. The 3D move command hotkey is just 3M. You select the object you're going to move, hit enter, and AutoCAD gives you a gizmo, the move gizmo. You can select the directional arrow that you're looking at. In this case, I select the red one because that was moving along the right axis. I can repeat the command, select the same object, and this time I'll select the blue gizmo, move up until I'm happy, repeat the command. When I select the object, I can use the green axis on the gizmo to move my object back and forth in the green in the front to back direction. But let's undo that. Let's undo all of that. The truth of the matter is, and let me set this visual style to something that you can follow a little easier. The truth of the matter is, I don't have to have a command. If I look on the 3D status bar. Right here it says default gizmo. If I pull that out, move is my default gizmo. And I can change it to rotate or scale or no gizmo. What that means, simply put, is I can select this object without entering any kind of a command. AutoCAD will give me the move gizmo. I select the axis that I'm interested in. select the object, select the move gizmo, move it like so. I've got my z-axis selected so I'm going up and down and I can select my green axis and go front to back. Okay. get that thing out of my way. I think I'm just going to delete this for the rest of this exercise because it's getting in the way. And I'll go back and I'll set my visual style to wireframe and show you a pretty neat trick. When you're working with surfaces, you've got a great many surfaces, meshes in here that you can work with. If you hold down your control key, you can select one of those faces. Selecting one of those faces, of course I have my 3D gizmo. I'm going to pick on my left to right 3D gizmo and I move that face outward like so. And you can see that I've actually changed the entire shape of the object. If you'll look on your command line, you'll see that I was actually using just stretch grips. Okay, but I was moving one face rather than moving an entire side or moving the entire object. Okay, you can save this drawing if you want and we will move on to rotating about an axis.